Hey, it's Scott Beebe with Business on Purpose and a special Hurricane Dorian episode of the Business on Purpose Facebook Live that we do pretty much once per week. And uh, we are still in the low country. We will decide within the next few hours whether or not we're going to head out or not. But we've got a pretty nasty hurricane. And to all of our friends down in the Bahamas, oh my goodness, uh, just a nightmare and a disaster. And so we trust that, uh, that you will be able to pick up and move on here in the coming months and years. Uh, but know that we are uh, listening and we are paying attention. Hey, a couple things. I'm, you can see I'm wearing a dental claim support shirt. It's one of our, uh, our heroic clients down in the Savannah, Georgia area. They are being evacuated. Also, Taylor's Quality Landscape Supply. Uh, these guys here, they've been selling sandbags for the last couple of days to help people get uh, prepared here in the low country of South Carolina. Shoreline Construction got a bit of their swag. So basically, anybody that we've got swag for down here, I tried to round some of it up. I know we've got more somewhere. Uh, Mickelson Law Firm. Premier Exteriors, some of these others that are down here, Palm Properties, I could go on and on and on. Proudly, uh, Atlantic Spray Foam, uh, Coastal Shores, God, I'm just going down the list, and there are so many who are getting prepared uh, for this hurricane that's coming, and so we want to be able to uh, just identify with you through that. Also, a couple quick things, you can always link in with us uh, on LinkedIn, you can catch us and connect with us on Facebook, and of course, our YouTube channel, where all these videos get cut, edited, and put up and archived, so that you can be a part of that as well. And then the other big thing is make sure to check us out, sometimes I forget to mention this, at freedom.mybusinessonpurpose.com, a real game changer if you own a business. Uh, that's a place where you can connect in a community that you can connect at a price that is an absolute no-brainer. So let's talk about a, a pretty game-changing situation that happened. You know, m- most business owners see their businesses either as an irritation to endure or as a machine merely as profit generation. But a business really is so much more than that. Business and commerce, they're incredible tools in the hands of what we would classify as thoughtful owners that can be leveraged as a powerful force for life transformation in the major areas of life, in faith, family, your finances, friends, all the Fs there. Uh, Ryan O'Shaughnessy is a growing project manager at Premier Exteriors. In fact, his brother Matt is at a sister company, Shoreline Construction. And Ryan and his wife Amber are an intentional young couple who have been working hard to set up into adulthood, and they found themselves, as so many do, in debt that placed a real constriction, you know how that is, on your household. Also, Zach Howard, the head of operations at Taylor's Quality Landscape Supply, who I mentioned there, likewise found himself swimming both in big boy toys, he had a lot of them, self-admittedly, and also swimming equally in debt. Culturally, it has become the norm to look down the proverbial block and to see what the Joneses have and make a subtle, often subconscious and consequential decision thinking, well, surely if they can afford it, then then I can afford it too. Credit lenders, they abound in both their availability and often their simplicity in extending what Dave Ramsey so comically and truthfully stated is money to buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. For some, it's the Joneses' mindset. For others, it may just be simply student loans. Regardless, owing other people money stinks and is well cautioned in the Proverbs. The borrower is slave to the lender. I'll add, no matter the purpose, the terms, nor the interest, the borrower is still slave to the lender. You might say, well, I've got such a great rate. That's fine. Just know that the borrower is slave to the lender. Owing a debt is usually a weight. Justin Harvey owns Premier Exteriors. Jarek Taylor owns Taylor's Quality Landscape Supply. Both owners separately saw an opportunity to leverage their business as a force for personal transformation and began to offer Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University to their teams as a means for personal growth and development. So what Jarek did is he partnered with a local church, Live Oak Christian Church, who provided trained facilitators for the course. And after the entire 13-week course was complete for both Premier and for Taylor's, the results were unimaginable. I want you to check this out. The Oshags, as we call them, the O'Shaughnessy's, this is unbelievable, systematically and courageously paid off $68,000 in 15 months. $68,000 in 15 months. That's a weight, a weight of $151 every day for 450 days that they got rid of 
And so what they did is whimsically whisked away to the beach to celebrate. And you can even see right here, or right here, here, this letter from Ryan and Amber is a, a tangible memento for Justin and proof that you can build a business that's on purpose. So Ryan and Amber, congratulations to you guys. Unbelievable story. By the way, uh, you might be listening to this on a podcast. We do have a YouTube channel so you can see some of the things that I'm talking about uh, while we have those there. For Zach, he single-handedly started to head and barrel down his, uh, his debt to the point that he paid off $50,000 during the course of the program. Uh, Jarek is the owner, provided the opportunity and the vision, but Zach brought the hard work and the implementation. See, we still hold by it. Vision without implementation is hallucination. And to prove Zach's hallucination, he courageously stood in front of his entire company, the entire uh, Taylor's Quality Landscape Supply team, and he shared numbers and he shared everything, his journey, his success. It led to eight other team members filling up an entire different financial peace class so that momentum could continue. So your business is your mission. Your business can set a platform and a stage like Zach to be able to transform not only his own life, but also the lives of other people that are sitting in that room. As the owner, I want you to leverage your business, not only for profit, but I want you to leverage your business for connection for business impact. I want you to leverage your business for the transformation of other people's lives and their great ways to do it. So here's three ways to leverage your business for the transformation of your team and the people that they influence that is so easy to do. First thing first, I want you to write your business vision down. And I want you to write it down in those different categories, your family and your freedom, your finances, the product and service. What do you envision? What do you envision your team look like? What do you envision your clients look like three years from now? What do you envision your culture looks like? And for those of you who have this, this, this uh, unrelenting faith that you want to serve other people with, make that a part of your vision. Make your faith a part of your vision. It should have those seven categories or eight categories. And once you've shared your vision, I want you to invite your team to write a vision for their family and for their household. What do your, what do your team members want for their family? What do your team members want for their faith? What do your team members want for their finances, their fitness, and their friendships? Have them write it down, literally on a sheet of paper. Let that be a challenge that you're doing for them. That's a gift that you can give to them. Next, Start teaching financial literacy in your business and provide opportunities for your team to work on their own financial stewardship. Listen, if your team members are swimming in debt, it's going to be hard for transformation of any kind because they're so worried about the weight of that debt. Talk about how a dollar comes into the business and how that dollar does not remain as a whole dollar, but that dollar gets parsed up and pieced up and cut up and sliced up so that maybe the, the business is only holding th three cents once that dollar is all paid for, or eight cents or 12 cents. Explain that every dollar gets fractioned out into payroll, into taxes, and cost of goods, into every other area in your business. Talk about the importance of financial stewardship, both at work and at home, and how bad stewardship should never determine compensation in any way. Did y'all hear that? Bad stewardship, either in business or at home, should never determine compensation should have a, an employee come to you and say, hey, I, I need this to live because we're in debt. No, 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 let's work on the debt before I just pay you more money. All right, the third element. I want you to begin linking work to your community. Tie team members' work back to the community that they serve and the purpose they have in their life. Of course, it requires that team members know their purpose. So walk with them through a simple pro process of asking each person what motivates you. What motivates you? Ashley, at, at right now as I'm talking to this, is in Nigeria. And Ashley being in Nigeria, she's had the opportunity to sit down with teachers in Nigeria. And the workshop that she's taking them through before they ever get to pedagogy and to, peach, uh, to teacher training is they're simply asking that great question that Simon Sinek asked all of us, and that is, why? Why? Why are you doing what you're doing? Link your team members back to the community. Why are they doing what they're doing, both at home, but also in their personal life? Real transformation will not take place the first time you take advantage of any of these three ideas, but instead it evolves over time with great repetition over and over and over. Team meetings and intentional time calendaring serves as an invitation 
for solid repetition. And when you've got that solid repetition, your team members are going to know exactly why they're doing what they're doing, and they are going to know exactly the train that they're on in order to get there. Of course, one other way that we can help is we've got our book, Let Your Business Burn, some great examples of how the transformation of lives happens through business. You can go pick it up at Amazon. Let your business burn. Stop putting out fires. Discover purpose and build a business that matters. It's our delight to be able to serve you again. Make sure you go check out freedom.mybusinessonpurpose.com. If you're a business owner, you need to be a part of that community. It is a growing community, one that's very excited, and we've taken all of our training and put it all right there. It's an incredible opportunity for you to be a part of this growing idea of living out your business on purpose. For those of you in the hurricane zone, stay safe. Taylors, DCS, Shoreline, uh, proudly, all you guys, go get it. Go knock them out and go live out your business on purpose.